So today I'd like to introduce uh, in the Rider for Rider line the foil fix system. So the, the goal of the foil fix system is to fix your foil on your board in 20 seconds without tool, super easy. And you will see you can find back your old position, so previous riding position of your foil so that you can jump on the board and immediately be perfectly tuned for your ride session. The goal is to be as fast as possible on the water and enjoy the water session rather than fuck around with the foil uh, to set it up on the board. So the system is coming like that. So either you have a M8 screws or you have M6 screws in your foil and you may need some conical washer. If your, your foil has conical screws and they are M8, then you will need this option conical washers. So let's take the example of the M6. Your foil has M6 screws. So here is the setup for the foil fix M6. So what you get into your package, you get four screws without head. On one side, you have a hole, Allen key hole, M6, and on the other side, it's all flat. So four screws like that by 35 millimeter, you get four foil fix nuts. Those nuts can match the screws, okay? And you've got two more pieces, so small instruction manual. You get a small tool that is um, useful when it's cold, when your hands are a bit weak, because you can tie it with your hands, but you can also use this um, top tool to screw the foil fix on the board. Finally, you will find a small set of wedges that are also included into the set. So your board is, um, is often coming with the four nuts that are standard to your board, okay? So no need to buy those ones, you should have them already. So the only thing you need is these four screws, the four foil fix nuts, the tool, and these wedges. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set your foil on your board, you're gonna take this screw, and you're gonna see how much when the screw is touching the bottom, how much the screw is going out. The screw has to go out when it's touching the bottom of the box. It has to go out by eight millimeter. So then you will be able to screw it well. If the screw is not long enough, it may be like that because your box is deeper or because the foil is thicker, then you need to add wedges. So how to use the wedges? So you have three kinds of wedges. Wedges of two millimeter, wedges of four millimeter or six millimeter. Imagine you need six millimeter. So you cut your six millimeter wedge and you clip it into the bottom of your screw where there is the hole, the hexagonal hole. So it's supposed to fit as you can see. Then you're gonna put that into your nut like this, quite low, and you're gonna insert into your box, all right? So you do it that four times. When this is done, as you can see, this is still moving. Then you, you take your foil, and you plug it on the screws. So then you find the right position for your foil. Imagine this is the correct position. Then you tie the screw by hand. You cannot tie it with a tool because you can see it's flat. So impossible to use a tool. So when this is tied by hand, then you remove your foil. These screws will stay on the board. They are fixed, so they cannot move, okay? You can unscrew by hand if you want, but you will leave them in place 
in the right position. And when you are finished to ride, you just set the foil fix on it so that it does not destroy your, your board cover. And you can even use this one and here to store the small tool. So this is the setup that you will leave into your board so everything stays in place. When you want to ride, you just have to unscrew the fold fix. Then you place it again on the four screws. As you can see, it's already holding and locked in place by the screws. And then you just need to screw the fold fix by hand. What is important is with your ad wedge adjustment, you need to feel this screw going a little out of the nut. So then you are sure that the foil is well fixed and secured. What you can do is tie it by hand, but this will last only 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, you need to tie it again in the water. No need to turn the board. You can check below the water if your foil fix are well screwed. But what I recommend is to use this tool. With this tool, you can really tie it more. And in that case, your foil will be secure for the whole session. So tie it as strong as you can. And you can see there is a good grip on this tool. So you can really tight it and then it would be perfect for the whole session. So the way we, we design the foil fix is, of course, there is a, a little um, excrescence here. So there is a, a, the foil fix is out of the board. So you are used to have something very slick and you may think, oh, that's going to be hard to, to take off. Actually not, for two reasons. First of all, we designed the foil fix with a hydrodynamic shape. So as you can see, the, the foil fix is very low profile and it's shaped to, to, to go well with the water. Second point is when you start to accelerate, you are pumping, so it's creating a lot of bubbles. So in the, just before your foil is going to bring up, up, there will be a lot of air and water where the, the drag is less of an issue. And when you reach six to eight knots, then you're gonna foil and this will never touch again the water. So, so really the, the small, um, uh, let's say, uh, screw going out is uh, almost nothing compared to the gain of setting your foil and removing your foil. At the end of the session, very easy. You just do one quarter of a turn like that. And then you can remove your screws very quickly. Again, same system at the end. So you, you could tight well the screws so they are not untightening after the end of the session. And then put back your foil fix on it. There you go.